Hey guys, this is Jason from SoCal Accessories. Today I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to install new replacement mirror covers on the Tension Civic, uh, Tension Accord, my bad. Um, this is going to be for the model without the light. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to disconnect it, this, well, how to uh, take off the mirror, take off the cap, and install the new one. We're installing some that are forged carbon, but these steps should work exactly the same whether it's these the OEM style replacements, OEM replacements, or carbon fiber full replacements. So when they're full replacements, you'll see all the little tabs on the inside. If they're overlays, the ones that just come with the 3M tape, you just clean these up with uh, rubbing alcohol, wait for it to dry, peel the tape, and then stick them on. But these are full replacements. So the first step we're going to do since this model has the lights on here for the sensor, we're going to disconnect the ground from the battery um, just in case so it doesn't trip anything out on this mirror. Um, so there's supposed to be a way to pop off this mirror where you could separate it from this little plastic piece inside. But usually it doesn't seem to be that easy to just pry this off. Well, I guess this time it's kind of being easy. So you could do it that way and the glass will separate from that. I'll show you guys a different way. Another way if you guys can't do that or you feel you're like you're going to snap the glass, tilt the glass all the way up put your fingers down here and you reach your fingers towards the middle and I was trying to separate now because I already popped off that white part but let's see if I could still pop the whole thing out. All right. So I'm going to show you guys this way. You guys could do it with a pry bore and try and separate this white plastic from the mirror. I'm going to show you guys how to do it this way. Um, so these usually do come out with this. As long as that spring doesn't pop out from there, you guys are good. If that spring that's on both of those pops out, when you pull this out, you got to make sure you put that spring back on and it has to be actually clipped in. There's little tabs on these teeth that hold that spring in place. If that does pop out, you need to push it back in and put it in all the way. Otherwise, when this needs to spin clockwise or counterclockwise to tilt the mirror up or down, it's not going to let these teeth actually grab onto that threading. Um, so just pay attention, make sure that those didn't come off. For this, just in case if it matters polarity wise, what size power, what size ground, I'm going to get a marker. All right, you guys, so for this model, you have this you got to unclip. And this one, this one, just in case power and ground matter what side it's on, I'm going to mark it to make sure I plug it back in the same way since the plugs are exactly the same on both sides. So you just wiggle that to disconnect it. This one has a little latch. Pop up on that latch with your finger now or a screwdriver. Make sure you don't drop the glass when you do it. And you put a little bit of pressure away from it or you could use your finger to pull that up. Put this glass somewhere where it's going to be safe so you don't drop it. And then I'll show you guys the next step. All right, you guys, so once you have that out, you have three tabs that you gotta pop up. You have one right here. You have this one back here, not the front one, but that one in the back right there. That tab has to be popped inward. And then you have a third one, not that one. It's the one towards the inside and it's all the way towards the back. So for this bottom one, you pry the tab up. This one, the tab goes up and this one, the tab goes sideways. I don't know if you could see it too good in the camera. If not, that's why I'm explaining which way they need to be uh, pushed towards. So he's going to stop recording right now so that we could push those tabs out and then I'll show you guys what comes next. All right, you guys. So once we have both of these, both tabs up, it doesn't snap out easy. So I got this like little plastic spatula looking thing. Make sure you guys mask this off if you guys are going to pry harder with something thicker than this. Um, but I just put this in just to get a little leverage from here to pull it outward. And once I did that, he was still holding both of those tabs up and with this being able to put a little bit of pressure to kind of pull this way I pushed this down and up kind of wiggle it up and down and then it popped out so now that that part popped out should be able to wiggle it a little bit more here take out this screwdriver because this tabs all the way out okay. so you could use this on top also you guys could use a masking tape right here if you want, or if you're using something that's not plastic. 
So we're just using this just a little bit. I'm not going to push all the way. I don't want to crack that or break that. But this tab should be all the way out now too. So now I just need to get that tab that's on the bottom all the way in the back right there. And then we should be able to jiggle this out. So remember the bottom one, you pry the tab from top to bottom. Shake it. So as you've seen, I just shook outward this, these three. So you have this one, this one, and this one. You need to come out from here and it comes out this way. So you don't push that way. Just jiggle it like I did up and down from top, I mean from front and back. And as you see, it, it pops out like that. So when we put the new one on, um, we got to make sure these three tabs line up and then push it back in place. So we're gonna do that right now. So this tooth okay. has to line up down here, this one up here, and this one right here in the side slant. Besides that, you need to be able to get these in. So we're kinda of gonna put it on evenly. So it's my first time doing the tension accord. So if you guys have a better method for some reason, let me know in the comments. Uh, but as you can see, I got this one with this tabs inside. So the tabs inside, it's not locked in, but it's inside. This one, the bottom tab was hitting the two teeth coming out right here, or well, the two tabs. So I had to kind of get that to jump over that plastic. Now that that's in, this does shake in more. And then like you've seen it just everything popped in place right now so now after you do that you're just gonna check inside and make sure all three tabs grabbed okay so I don't know if you can see it that clear on the camera but there's one right there that one's in the second one that locks in sideways is locked in right there and then that third one in the back is also locked in i don't know if you could see that one's pretty hard to see on camera but it's down there and that gap you could see it right there kind of let me see that one back there that one's also locked in So after that, now we're gonna plug this back into the mirror and this back into the mirror. If you do have these plugs, make sure you plug in both of those. And then see how that little metal retainer, that little spring is still on that one. And that one's still on that one. So after we plug it back in, I usually like to put pressure in the middle of the mirror to get this big tooth to pop in. And the teeth that goes in here, well the thread that goes in here and here, um, look from the front through the gap to make sure they're lining up to, to make sure they actually pop into there and there and not towards the side or, or bend like inward or outward. I'll try and show you guys when I do it right now. After I, after I plug it in, I'll show you guys how I stack We got those two plugs plugged back in. So this is where I usually put pressure right here in the middle since that's like the biggest support spot on the back of the mirror. I don't want to risk cracking it. But the teeth, you got to see how that one needs to line in to that hole before you push. I don't know if you could see it too well and then the bottom one also. So those need to line up before you push, okay? So here, hold it. So I'm gonna get towards the center of the mirror once I feel like, like both of those are lined into their holes. 
and I push in place. So usually when you know when the thread is locked in, you'll hear you'll hear that going both ways. I don't know if you could hear that noise. Let me get the mic a little closer. But if you could hear that going up and down and side to side, then you know both of those are locked in place. So I've done one before on a Civic where it makes that noise going up and down. But then when you go like this side to side, it went very freely. So that means that tooth where that thread wasn't back inside um, the part where it needs to grab. After you guys put everything back on like this, we're gonna wipe it down. We'll show you a video or picture how it looks after we wipe it down. Besides that, don't forget to reconnect your battery. On 10 Gen Accords on Civics, when you reconnect the battery, all the lights are gonna come on your dash because the system's resetting. Usually you just drive around the block. Once you drive around the block, uh, the calibration and everything resets itself and then the lights usually go away after that unless you have a bad sensor or something somewhere or something's not connected correctly. Also, when we reconnect the battery, we turn on the car, we like to make sure that these lights still light back up and to make sure both mirrors tilt up, down, and side to side with the with the controls. Um, if they didn't, then you guys didn't do one of the steps correctly and just go back and check your work. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please like the video, subscribe to the channel so I can make more step-by-step -step tutorials for you guys.